Hi there, my name is Darshkatani, and today we're going to review the iOS 9 public beta. Alright, so let's start off with a little disclaimer. I've used this software for one week and I've experienced all the problems firsthand. If you plan on installing the software, please be aware that this is a beta and it is recommended to be used on a secondary device. If you still do plan on installing it, make sure you follow all the proper instructions on the Apple website. Now that you've heard that, let's get right into it. So let's just start talking about the features. iOS 9 is Apple's latest operating system for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod, and contains a bundle of new features for this year iOS 9 being Apple's latest operating system does not mean that there are so many new updates to the OS. There are a couple of key things as well as small things that are very subtle in the new OS. So to start off, let's talk about personal assistance. Siri can now be used and accessed from Spotlight Search when you swipe down from the top of the screen. Siri has also been added to the new Spotlight screen next to the home screen. It is in the same spot as Spotlight Search was before iOS 7. Siri can now gather information from your daily schedule. Don't worry, Siri is not a stalker. Well, I hope. Anyway, she can suggest the apps, context, and places you go most in the new Spotlight screen. She can also add new articles that may be of interest to you at the screen. For example, if I go for a run every morning at 7am, then Siri will suggest the music app every morning at 7am, as well as opening up the music app for you when you plug in your headphones. This works with apps, places, and contacts. Siri also can recognize common phrases, such as Siri, Find photos from last September. Siri also looks different. Siri now has a colorful theme, but doesn't have that satisfying sound when you hold down the home button, and has been replaced by a vibration. One of the biggest updates in iOS 9 was Siri, and now that I've covered her, what else is there? Well, there's still a couple new features that still make a huge impact. So, Passbook has been renamed and re-iconed. Is that even a word? Well, eh, who cares. It has a new icon and was replaced as Wallet which sounds a lot better, including that Apple Pay is now available in the UK and the US, coming to more countries soon. Not many people noticed this, but the keyboard got some new functionality as well. The keyboard finally, and I mean finally, has lowercase keys. Okay, this doesn't seem like a very big deal, but this has annoyed many people, including me, for a long, 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 long time. There are now six digit passwords for iOS, and this adds just the extra layer of security to the iPhone, as well as the iPad and well, an iPod. This helps cracking the password 100 times harder. Um, Maps has new transit directions in the big cities around the world. Well, just including New York, Toronto, uh, Beijing, and so on. Oh, yeah, and uh, better battery life. Battery life on an iPhone has been terrible for a long, long time and has now been fixed. Thank the gods. Well, or Apple. Hmm. There is a feature in the settings called low power mode. Turn on low power mode when you have maybe 50% battery and it will add an extra 3 hours to your battery life, which to anyone with an iPhone knows that's a lot of extra time. There are some problems though with using low power mode. This includes turning off background app refreshing as well as stopping mail coming in every 15 minutes or however long you've set it to come in. And this is actually a big problem for people who require checking their mail very often or having their apps always ready and loaded up. So as any good review, you give an overview of what the operating system is, as well as your thoughts on it. And my thoughts personally are, I really enjoyed it. I loved playing around with it as it was smooth majority of the time. It was really fun to play with. I had longer battery life. I had a six digit password, which I really adapted to and really enjoy. And I really like the proactive Siri and Spotlight suggestions as I use it now on a regular basis. At the beginning, there were some problems with it as it didn't notice my schedule automatically, as it should have because I did not restore my phone before adding on iOS 9, so it should have recognized my schedule automatically. But I guess that's something that we're gonna notice come up in the future as it'll fix itself. And it honestly it was one of the, my favorite things involved with iOS 9. There were a couple things that went wrong though. There was a crashing of simple apps, some random reboots. There was no news app, which was one of the highlighted features in iOS 9, and I don't understand why they did not add it. As well as the Siri and Spotlight suggestions weren't always so accurate. And the Apple Music iCloud Music Library, also in iOS 8.4, has been a big problem and has been ruining a lot of people's iTunes libraries. So please make sure that you check that out before you update or before you turn on iCloud Music Library. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I am really happy that you enjoyed it. Well, I hope. 
Alright, so please leave any feedback you may have in the comment section below as well as liking this video. Also, subscribe to the channel as we have more videos coming out in the near future. Alright, thanks for watching again and I'll see you guys next time.